Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to WillieHow.com. Click the Hire Us button or the Contact Us form. Fill that information out and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. So, what we're going to look at today is we're going to do some uh, speed tests, some throughput benchmarking on the wired side with our UDM base. So, what we've got is we have this... Uh, Libra speed program. It's installed on my Synology NAS. If you want me to do a video on how I installed this, uh, let me know down in the comments and I will do a quick video on that. Now, uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to plug uh, my computer and that's actually what this is. My computer is plugged directly into the same network that Libra speed is on. We're going to do a benchmark from my computer. And then we're going to plug the WAN of the UDM base into that and then plug my computer into the UDM without IDS, IPS. We're going to run a couple tests and then we're going to turn on IDS, IPS all the way and then run a couple more tests. So, all right, here we go. You can see I've been playing with this. So here is our first test. This is computer on the same network as Libra Speed. Here we go. So we got an 8 millisecond ping, 4.13 milliseconds of jitter, and it looks like directly from my computer, we're getting 872 down, and we're getting 917 up. We're going to run it one more time just to kind of see. Actually, real quick, I'm going to write that down. So test number one is 872 down and 917 up. And of course, I'm recording on this PC, so our results may uh, reflect reflect the uh, hardware usage that's happening here. So, 829 down, and 910 up. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to plug my computer directly into the UDM. And I'm going to plug the WAN port of the UDM into that same port that my PC was plugged into. So it is so that the WAN port is on that same same network. So we're going to give it a second. We're going to hop over here and just make sure that I really do have the uh, firewall and security. So threat management is totally off. So we'll refresh that. We'll come back over here to our Libra speed. And we are going to go ahead and click start. Now you got to remember, now we were behind the UDM with no threat management. And here we go. Our download. Our first test is at 780 down. And I can hear the fans kicking up on my computer. So my computer is definitely part of the bottleneck here. But we're going to go ahead and run this again. Yeah. So 824 down. And I don't know if you can hear the fans on my computer, but yeah, they are. 824 down, 905 up. Isn't it funny how the uh, the upload's always faster? One more time without threat management turned on. And survey says 869 down. And... 927 up. Okay, so we did those three tests. Now we're going to turn on threat management. Um, and we're going to turn it on all the way. It is going to be, we're going to flip all the levers here in just a second as soon as my UDM loads. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do detect and block. And they warn you right here, enabling threat management may reduce maximum throughput speeds. We're going to say hi, which turns on all the categories. We're going to turn on the dark web blocker. 
and we're going to turn on the malicious, malicious website blocker. We're going to enable all those things. Apply that. We're going to give it a few seconds here to uh, get its act together. And as soon as it does that, let's hop over here and see. It says it's online. All right, here we go. So we're going to refresh the Libra speed page. Now, remember, these are wired speeds only. So here we go. We're going to do the same three tests. So we're going to go ahead and click start. And here we go. This is full IDS IPS. And we're going to do those same three tests just to make sure. And test number one is 869 down, 898 up. All right, let's run that test again. Well, that's better than the first test without, uh, that's better than the first test without IDS IPS. Test number two. Coming in at 889. Down and 856 up. All right, and the last test. Here we go. And I thought we were going to break 900, but that's 866 down and 845 up. So if we look at our numbers, so with no, uh, with us on the same network as the speed test ser server with my laptop, which is, uh, you know, the constant here, the best test was 872 down and 917 up. With behind the UDM, with no IDS, IPS, our best test was 869 down, 927 up. And with... IDS, IPS enabled, we were at, uh, our best test was 889 down and 856 up. So from this short test, and you could do this and keep benchmarking and all that, but from this short test, if you've got gigabit internet, uh, the UDM base should be able to handle this no problem. So we're going to benchmark all of these uh, and compare them. So that's the UDM base, the UDM Pro, the UDM SE, the UXG, and the Unified Dream Router. We're going to benchmark all those. Maybe we'll throw a USG in there just for old time's sake. But if you want to see me test this a different way, um, I was going to use my internet. And when I started doing the testing last night, I'm supposed to have gig speed down. But with everything going on uh, and the neighborhood and it, it just uh, I wasn't getting gig speed, so I wasn't happy with that. So I went with the with the help the self hosted Libra Speed just to get a little bit more of a stable uh, testing platform. So if you've got any other ways you want to see me test this, benchmark this, we're going to do the wireless uh, next. We'll mix that in here with some other videos. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel, all of our clearly marked affiliate links are below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. Once again, I'm Willie. If you need IT consulting, reach out at willyhow.com. I appreciate each and every one of you. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.